Let's do one more word with W. Keith Campbell, who is the co-author of The Narcissism Epidemic. I guess the big question at the end of the day is, if somebody's a narcissist, can they change or be changed? And I think the answer is sometimes. <laughs> um, you know, the older thinking was that it just wasn't possible. These things were too much part of your personality, and it's hard to change personality. But what we're finding now is personality can change. People who are narcissistic can change. Um, the real challenge is people don't want to. I mean, if you think you're that important and special and good looking and you look in the mirror and go, God, look at that guy. I am so awesome. Everybody else doesn't see that and they're screwed up and I need a new spouse because that will make everything better. <laughs> you know what I mean? If that's how you view life, you're not going to want to change. Um, but if you're, if you're committed to it, if you look around and say, look, I see these other people and, and their family life, they, they get, they're getting something from that, I'm missing that. And you know, I'm, I'm good at my job but, and I'm a good leader, but I find I can't work as well with my staff because I don't really listen to them and I want to change. I mean, I think there are ways by trying to be more compassionate, by trying to be um, you know, sort of more self-aware and, and, and taking responsibility for your actions, I think that's something that's possible. In the clinical case, people have the full psychiatric condition of narcissism, there's different therapies. We don't have any great data that one works better than the other, but there's lots of little bits of data that suggest that therapies can work for people. In reading your book, I'm reminded near the end, you talked about that Harrison Ford movie uh, regarding Henry, yeah. where yeah. he was an incredibly narcissistic yeah. guy who gets shot in the head, and that yeah. straightens him out. You're yes. not recommending that, I take it. No, I mean, movies are filled with plot devices where, you know, narcissistic guys become loving husbands, you know, whether they're electrocuted or hypnotized or shot in the head or, you know, that one where the guy was in a phone booth with a sniper. I mean, <laughs> the movies are great. My, my other thing, if you're in a relationship with somebody or working with somebody who's narcissistic and, and the question is, can you change that person? I'd say, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try. I mean, you can get it, you can buy a Yugo and then put fins on it and, and pimp it out and be, or you could just go buy a Mercedes. You know, I, I would just, I wouldn't put a lot of effort into it unless you're really stuck and then talk to somebody. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.